hi guys this is Dayo Chick and you're welcome back to my food vlog today i'm making bean sanya follow me so first things first i wash my hands because of course you have to be very hygienic so once i'm done washing my hands i start washing the part i clean the lid and also the inside of the part The next step for me is to put in my hot water which I already boiled earlier on and then I'm going to let this start simmering on the fire. I put in the beans which I already picked and then add the water inside of it and basically just wash it till it's very clean. Now that's me being dramatic. So I don't have a gas stove like every other person so I'm using my cylinder. Then I clean up everything I have used in washing the beans so I don't have it smelly. While the beans is on fire, I start preparing my ingredients. So I have my already cooked tomatoes and onions. I'll be using pepper, ginger and spices. So first things first, I have to clean the onions. You actually have to wash it very thoroughly because it definitely has sand and some people don't actually take care of this. So they end up having sand or bits of stones in their food. After cleaning the onions, you start washing the ginger because it definitely has sand as well. So you clean properly and thoroughly and it's best to run it under running water so it just gets everything out clean. You start cutting it because I don't know, some people like the brown part, I just don't. So I am adding extra pepper because I don't know you just can't have enough of pepper I already have it in the tomato mix but then it doesn't do any bad to have more of it so I clean it properly and I'm using my manual blender here because I honestly do not want this to be too smooth so this is going to give it the consistency that I want Throwing every other thing that you have inside the food. For me, I added my onions and the ginger. I just don't like to chew either of them in the food, neither do I like them to be seen. So I'm blending them into this consistency. Now, this is where it gets really tricky. You can see my eyes twitching already. I am feeling the burn from the onions, and at this point, I honestly cannot take more of it. So I am really struggling at this point, and this is where it gets interesting. I just couldn't. I honestly couldn't. I tried so hard to keep it in together, but man, wait for it. Well, I'm not that easily sweet, so I'm back at it again. After this is done, you start prepping every other thing that you use in making your beans. So for me, I chose yam. I'm not a big fan of plantain. I know some people would like to use ripe or unripe plantain. Some people use both.
so here's the thing I'm one who likes to clean while cooking so you can notice through the lapses in the videos that I have just been cleaning as well as prepping my items because I just love a clean work environment it just helps me work smoother and I know this may be the same for every other person now for the yam I personally like very thin slices and that is exactly what I'm doing here in this video I noticed that I had way more yam than I actually needed so I had to store the rest in the freezer. At this point, the beans is already soft so I start with frying the tomatoes. First you put in your oil, I'm using Mamador because I love Mamador oil. So you throw in the pepper, onions and ginger mix into the oil and now it's already very hot. You start mixing because if you don't it's definitely going to burn. At this point you could add your tomato mix. This was in my freezer and I had to bring it out to the first before using it. This is the point where you add your palm oil and as the local girl that I am, of course I had to heat it under the raw flames. So after doing that, you just basically throw it in. Remember that you've already used enough granite oil so you basically just use very little palm oil depending on the quantity of your food mix this thoroughly while you're at it after you fry this until it is no longer sour or slappy then you start adding your spices so I started with adding black pepper because you just cannot have enough of pepper then I throw in my bouillon cubes after putting the bouillon cubes the next thing is to stir it for a while At this point you can throw in your salt and then you have to measure this very carefully depending on the quantity of food that you're serving. And what's a Nigerian meal without crayfish? I love the taste of crayfish especially in beans, it is so amazing. Do well to use this generously please. Once this is ready, you can now add the mixture into your beans. Let it cook and simmer for a bit. You have to constantly check it so you don't have it burning on the meat and it's not advisable to turn it. Once your beans is set, you bring it down and then start with the next step, which is prepping the other things that you're making. For me, I start with frying my yam. Some people prefer to put salt in their yam before frying and others after frying. I put salt in mine before frying. Constantly check it and throw it around a little so it doesn't burn at the edges. Lest I forget, use minimal heat for yam peas. My yam is ready, so I'm basically just scooping everything out so I can start plating at this point.
Ta-da! So my arm is set. I am just going to go right to it. I bring in my dish and plate and then I bring the pot of beans roller because look at this majestic creature. It's not a creature by the way, it is food. So you can start plating now. Please don't mind me. Just look at how supple and soft this looks. Oh my goodness. Now, what is the essence of making this whole batch without having to decorate it? Plating is one thing that I find very interesting and I just don't like ugly food so my food just has to look on point. It's all set now. Join me next time. Bye.